Hey guys and welcome back and today I'm going to be teaching you another awesome tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fedora. Now this fedora isn't just any fedora, it lights up, which is awesome. The tutorial that I'm going to be teaching you guys does not include any lights, but I thought you guys would enjoy that. It's a lot of fun, but maybe a little bit distracting. Today we're going to be making a blue fedora. I'm going to be using purple 160s. You can make it with whatever color you want. Um, I prefer using 160s, but if you want a really simple design, you can use some of the steps in here and use 260s just to make a really simple design just to get it out there. But to add more detail, I use 160s and yeah, I'm going to be using purple today. Now, you can use however many balloons you want to use. It depends on the size of your head that you're making it for and how many layers, how, much, how big you want to make it, how many details you want to add in. So I recommend that you use at least five balloons um, just to make the most simple one, but you might you be ended up using more like seven or eight, depending on how much detail you want to add in and how large you want to make it. For now, start off by blowing up three 160 balloons about halfway. There you go. Once you have all three of them blown up, time to get started. The first one, you're gonna go about three or four inches. I'm gonna do three inches right here and a pinch twist. I'm gonna grab one of these, twist it into the pinch twist. And with this one, I'm gonna go about four inches, four to five inches, and give it a pinch twist, and grab this last one and twist it into that pinch twist. And I'm gonna go the same length as the last one, so about four or five inches. Just measure it, make sure that these two are roughly the same size, and give it a pinch twist. I'm going to tie that first balloon into that last pin twist. So now we have a nice triangle, which is fantastic. So now what you want to do is go about half inch on each of these guys, about a half inch bubble, and a pinch twist. Half inch and pinch twist. Half inch and pinch twist. Now we're going to connect the ring, but I'm going to go slightly larger than that first layer. So if this one was two inches, I'm gonna go two and a half to three inches. And if this one was four inches, I'm gonna go four and a half to five. And same thing going back. Now, for this it might not be going the way you think. You might be thinking I'm starting at the top and just going straight down. I'm actually not. Now you can do that, you can start at the top. Now if you're gonna start just at the top and go straight down, then I recommend making the top a little bit larger to start. But I am actually going to make this indent right here. So I'm starting off with this bottom layer, then I'm coming up, and then I'll go down. So it might be a little complicated, just follow with me. I promise I'll make it as simple as possible. So now you have this, turn those pinch twists facing up. So you have the first layer right there, and the second layer, and then going back up. Now, you're gonna to twist about a one inch bubble, and another pinch twist on all sides. One inch bubble, pinch twist, one inch bubble, and pinch twist. So then we're going to wrap these layers. Again, going just a little bit bigger, and the last layer should be perfect. Make sure you get all three sides. So we're now, it should be roughly flat. So you got the first layer right here and the last layer right here. What you're gonna do is actually gonna push that center layer down just a smooth. For that last layer, there's now an indent right there. That's perfect, that's exactly what you want. This part is gonna be literally resting on your head right there, but it should bring it right up to where it's supposed to be. Then we're gonna take this pinch twist, angle everything, so it's going back down. Now, this is where we're gonna change strategy just a second. We're not gonna do any more pinch twists right here. We're just gonna go straight down. Now, I could use these balloons. If I was doing a very simple version, I would use these balloons and just work my way down, wrapping it around. But instead, I actually wanna use some other balloons and just use these as the layers. If you're having a hard time following me, that's fine, I'll make it really simple as we continue forward. For now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is blow up some more of these, blow up at least three more of these balloons and blow it up about all the way, just leaving two to three inches of tail. All right, 
right, now that you got two of these to work with, here's what we're gonna do. Pick one of the corners, doesn't really matter which one you want to use, and twist a half inch bubble. And you're gonna twist this nozzle right into that bubble. Tie it in there. And you're gonna wrap around. There's a very simple basket weave. Half inch bubble, bring it around, slightly increasing, because remember, tapering out. Slightly increasing layers each time. And we're gonna do that until we get back to where we started. And at that point, you have two options. One is you can break this off and start over with the next layer, or you can cheat. What we're gonna do is on that other balloon, we're gonna do a half inch bubble, and instead of breaking this off and reattaching it, we're gonna squeeze out a length to where it's completely bare, and wrap it around a half inch bubble. It's gonna be as if we had just worked our way down. Now we're gonna do another layer. Just work our way down. Remember, slightly increase that the layer every time you go around. Because this does have to fit on your head. So at this point, working our way down a little bit, test it to see how it is on your head. Now as you can see, I still have some ways to go. It's not gonna fit my head yet, so I still need to get at least two more layers in here. And with those next two layers, I need to increase the size. I think I get one more layer. Now, you might notice I am kind of swapping out as I go to where I'm gonna start the layer right here. Nice half inch bubble. Remember, get rid of that air, twist it down. Now I'm gonna start off with this balloon. Twisting it over here to this side. Remember, increasing the size. But this one isn't really long enough to keep going, so I'm gonna swap it out with this one actually, which has plenty of room. I don't need much on here, just enough to keep those layers going. So I can actually be swapping out which balloon I'm using as I go to some degree. Now I'm back here at the start. Now if you want to, if, if you're not sure what you're doing, every layer that you do, you can test it again to see how you're doing. So I still need some more room. Now at this point, I'm gonna get rid of this small one. Give yourself some room, break it off, and tie it off with nice and secure. And then I'm gonna have to add in another balloon. So I'm gonna go down at half a bubble. We'll grab one of these guys and twist it in right there. All right, I'm gonna go half inch over here. Remember, increase those layers every single time you're going around. I'm gonna go slightly larger on the front because the front is not just going straight down, it's going out as well. So instead of doing a half inch bubble, I'm about to do a full inch bubble on the front, just on that front side. Remember, keep increasing those layers. Whereas we should, after about four to five layers, we should be able to fit it on our head. So again, we'll check it right there. It's really close to where I can almost get it on my head. So my goal is to have that next layer fit on my head. So I'm one, two, three, four, five layers in. I want that next layer to be on my head. So as you increase those layers though, it does take a lot more out of the balloon. So we're gonna get rid of this, tie it off, and grab another balloon. Make sure you tie it in there, nice and good. All right, so half inch bubble, grab a new balloon, tie 
slide in. There we go. Now let's keep moving. Remember, every layer, increase that up. Just a little more. One inch bubble in the front, half inch bubble on the back, one inch bubble in the front. See how that layer does. There we go. At this point, it is sitting on my head, which is perfect. It's a little tall, but you can make those adjustments as you get more practice. So at this point, now that it's on my head, now we're going to make a pinch twist on every side. Time to go out and get the brim. Go ahead and get rid of this. Tie it off. All right. So at this point, I'm gonna grab one more balloon and go out half inch. Pick the corner, go out a half inch. And twist it in. Now the fun part, with the door, it doesn't just go straight out. For those familiar with this hat, on the front, it kind of tapers down, on the back, it curves up, which that is gonna be fun to do. But I'll show you how to do that. Won't be a problem. For now, we're just gonna keep going. So, we got the half inch bubble. We want these pinch twists to be straight in there because our goal is not to curve up, just to go straight out for now. Get that half inch bubble. Now on the back side. On the back side, because I do want it to curve up, I'll make it just slightly larger than the last layer. For the back side. So on the front side, I am going to change that. My goal is to go straight out, so I'm gonna go that one inch bubble on the front, just like I was doing before. And I'm gonna make it wrap right around. Try to measure that out just perfectly. Square in the front. It's still kind of going down. In the back, it's curving up. Now you can get away with doing this with just one layer. Or you can add more layers, but for me, I think one is more than enough. Now to finish this off, get a pinch twist on each of these corners. And get rid of the excess balloon. Alright, so in the back I'm gonna have it curving up. The front is gonna come down. Make sure it'll fit on your head. Just fine. So set that old hat aside. Let's try it on. All right. What do you guys think of this fedora? It's a little bit large. You mess around with the exact mechanics of it, but it is a lot of fun. Very fancy. I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.